I say woolly, you say mammoth, woolly. Mammoth. Woolly. Mammoth. When I say tam, you say tam. 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 All right, let's do this shit. Um, <laughs> okay, we died we fighting totally now. Totally embarrassed ourselves. I mean, I wasn't embarrassed because that just shit. I, I I was just, just, just how it is. I, I was just showing people what happens when you suck at this game. <laughs> 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 when you are awful at Tan Tan, that's what happens. Um, I see. No. Okay. Okay. So there's a chance we may die again. So what I'm gonna do is heal up at this Tan Center over here. So if we die, we don't have to walk as far to fight him again. Oh, uh, something caught up ooh, to us. Ooh, battle. That's okay because we need to level up because this Tan are tough. It's okay, too well, hard. yeah, let's level up. Well, I'm not sure if it's gonna help a hell of a lot, but. Okay. Uh, don't say that. It will help. Oh, you I like my, like how serious and sad I got? I was like, don't say that. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, your tone of voice is not implying. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what your boards are saying. Oh. Um, this is gonna be a great. Like, I just did like a really um, sad let's play. I was like, this is gonna be a great. Ten time episode. You're guys. just very soft spoken. Guys, we're like the Bob Ross of Tem Tem yeah, exactly. or the Bob Ross of Let's Plays. Like, <laughs> okay, all right, guys, we got a happy little ducks here. Just, just, <laughs> Are you doing an NPR sending... uh, episode, not a yeah. Let's Play here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're just going to send a little Ready tornado bells. his way and he's going to hit us with some forks. Mm -hmm. no, we're just going to have a happy little time here. <laughs> having our little guys fight happy each other. Happy little time. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw myself gonna a card here. We're gonna choose the next play, Ooh. Venomous Claws, Venomous Claws. Who's gonna take out the side pad? Wait, what's gonna take out the side pad? Venomous Claws. Venomous Claws. Oh, yeah. Venomous Claws. Okay, if you didn't turn it off at that point, we're glad you're still here. Hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> we're still playing. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we we're just oh acting god. bored. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Um, oh. So. There's your Pidgey pack. What are you excited for for this year? Um, we're more than halfway done. We're in October. We got three months left in the year. What, it, what, what What's going to be the year 2021 when you look back on it? It's going to be the year of blank. The year of blank? What are you going to fill in the blank? Year of... Year of Temtem. Year of... Progress, I guess. Year of... The year right. of progress. We did a lot of progression. We did? Ooh, that's true. JD's yeah. working on her novel. We're working on this Let's Play channel. Oh, I got I a do. new job, guys. I got a new job, which I'm a little nervous about because, you know, anytime you get a new job, it's a little nervy. Yeah. You got stuck? Is, no, I'm trying to change out of something I have here. I don't want no more. Oh, who do you not want anymore? Um, I'm, I'm running next to Hungrid. Hungrid! Oh, Hungrid! Yeah, I'm gonna dance for Hungrid. Oh, wait, no, this is not dancing. That's just sitting down. This one? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, how do I you hopefully dance? That, was, that makes sense, what I did. Where'd you go? I'm oh, dancing next to Hungrid. Oh, no, I'm lost. You could... Oh, here. there's oh, somebody right. there standing looking into space. Hello? Oh, no, that's not you. Uh, you oh, go? you're going the wrong way. Come back down. Oh, shit, Oh, George. that's okay. I'm coming to you. Oh, oh no, I fight. smacked into a rock and something happened. Uh, Psyduck found you. Psyduck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, JD, what would be... Okay, let's say you won the lottery. $200 million. That's ridiculous. What do you do with that money? What do I do with that money? Uh-huh. I mean, I would probably get rid of a lot of it. Really? It's too much to have. 200 that million? That is a lot. That's ridiculous. That is a lot of I money. I would calculate how much I need to live the rest of my days without having to work. Would you get Clovis a friend? Clovis, you get our dog another... Clovis needs a friend. Clovis needs a friend. <laughs> He's way too attached to us. Oh my god. he was... I heard people... Okay, I've heard that people have said this um here we could go up this way that they've gotten a cat to help with separation anxiety for their dog i don't know that that works or not if you guys have done that and it works 
I feel like cats and dogs don't get along, but then sometimes they do, right? I've, yeah, I've heard are of it. Are you going to use your Tem Essence vial? Do I need to? Are, are, you, are they, are your, are your Tem No, it's just my side pet that needs... Uh... Well, heal him up before this battle. We need every, every card we can get in our favor, we need in our favor. Yeah. Um, I guess not all cats and dogs get along together, but some do, right? I read a, a blog article about, yeah, these people had a dog that they adopted and he was very anxious. He was suffering from separation anxiety. And so they got him a friend and it was a cat. And they got along so well that they take both of them on hiking trips. They take a cat hiking? Yeah. That sounds awesome. They awful. had pictures in the article. <laughs> I wonder if the cat, cat hates it. Cool about like, it. Because <clears throat> cats don't do a lot of walking, right? They just kind of sit around. Well, it was and... a young cat. It wasn't that old of a cat, you know? That's true. It I guess cats get cat. grumpier yeah, when they get older. Sleep and whatever. Um, so you definitely want to take out Velash with your... Um, wow. They just like totally were well, double teamed you. Now what? Um, I thought it was going to work this time. I thought so too. I was hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. You ever had that same? <laughs> <laughs> Total worst. Uh, I was hoping for the best, but expect the worst. Like they say to do. Ish. Oh my god. They're These just... guys are so strong. Why are they so strong? Well, they're like 10 levels above us. That's, that's true. Um, oh my god. All right. My... They're much faster too, which is bullshit. That wow, is the bullshit of all bullshits. All right, you know who's going in? My super scale, level 43. Taking both of you mofos out. Uh, I'm just sending in the closer. That's my Kira Sedwick <laughs> right there, the closer. The closer. Or, what was her name? Scunch? Munch? On uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Munch, right? Munch, Detective I think. Munch. Wow, oh, they're I really they're picking on just you. Wearing... Yeah, they're... Well, I'm going to kill this Velash right now. This Velasha Raptor. Well, how come he gets his HP goes up? He's got a trait that anytime he kills one of us or one of us dies, his HP goes up. But you know what? Oh, what an He's asshole. gonna die now. Yeah, you're right. He sucks. As they say in Spanish, he's un pendejo. <laughs> That's asshole in Spanish. <laughs> uh, we were watching that Twilight Zone episode. Um, the new Twilight Zone series, we have mixed feelings about. It. At least I do. Um, I, uh, you gotta use boomerang on him. Boomerang, boomerang. Boomerang. Okay. That's gonna be strong on your Drusil. Um Let's try that then. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna revive your platy pet because he's gonna be strong against that. Um, against that that fire guy. So okay. I revived your Banyu row for you. Thank you. Um, Nidrasil is dead, so you don't have to worry about his ass anymore. His ass is, as they say, grass. Your ass is grass. Oh, uh, your Saku's done. Oh, well, that's everybody. No, you got your buddy pet. Well, that's everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay. Um, so, yeah, your water moves should definitely take that guy out. No problem. Like, it ain't no thing. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to take out Sparzy with my um, Bun Bun. Bunny bun. He should be strong against both these guys, actually. My bunny bun. Okay. You say so. Nope. He's not strong against that. <laughs> I guess I lied. Uh, Your don't speed's die. faster, oh, too. No. Their speed is too fast. I think no, that's the problem there. Yeah. Um, okay. I guess you're going to go in and hope for the best. Um... Well, this should do a lot of damage. And then you can use your turn to bone plus so you survive <laughs> long enough to do it, pull off your move. Oh my god, level 46. Well, it's that doesn't look real. good. Why? Stop killing everyone! Stop killing everyone I love! <clears throat> Pretty dark. Oh huh? my god. Oh my god. Alright. Ah, Pidgey Peck, you're not strong against either of these guys. Um, yeah. That's my team impersonation. 
Uh, <laughs> Here, Tina. Tina. He damaged himself due to over exertion. We should find a way to speed up their uh, moves, man. We're dead. Well, because okay. they go, they care, they're much faster than us too. That doesn't help. I think we're gonna have to grind a little bit. Uh, let's see what other missions we can do while we grind because we're not strong enough. Um, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Uh, okay, who can we? What can we do? Give me one second. So everyone, we're back. Um, so we're gonna do the other quest where we tell Ezil that Oxplana is fine. Uh, so let's go back to Quetzal let's and we'll do that. Let's go meet some people. Yeah, maybe we'll get something that'll help us out. Either way, we just kind of need to level up a bit. Which, I mean, I don't mind doing some grinding. Oh, here. This is probably where we need to go. Yeah, and we're totally unprepared. We already got our asses kicked no, twice. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Ezel. I don't think I know you. Please leave. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Oklahoma, who are you? Where, where is she? What? Oh my goodness. Oh, by the Great Mother Stone. That's why she was taking longer than usual. The narwhal always runs on time. But thank you. Uh... Let me see, what did I have here? It was in the drawer. Ah, yes, take this. Perhaps your people can use it. We got a squeezer. Squeezer. Healing medicine item used in battle restores an additional 70% of HP. Oh. Hmm. Uh, and now, how can I help you? The rest of the crew must really have a lot of trust in you. The navigator is missing. Oh no, Camel, he's so much fun and one of Aklana's best friends. I hope he's alive. <laughs> I haven't heard any news about the crash, which means nobody here in the city has noticed it yet. But that's probably normal. Everyone was so focused on that troublemaker. You know what? Why don't you ask the Jaguar Lounge at the local watering hole? Everyone goes there. Miner, Smith, Scars. If anyone's seen them, you're sure to hear some gossip there. The okay. bar? Best of luck, George. Uh, thanks for giving us the news. I thought yeah. she knew about the area. I guess not. I guess we gotta go to the bar. Let's go get drunk. To let's go talk with the drunk locals. Yeah, they'll be like, they'll, re <laughs> they'll definitely remember since having ten drinks. Right. <laughs> uh, the Jaguar Lounge. Uh, who should I talk to? Let's talk to you. Uh, you don't look like a local. <laughs> Have you seen a Dennis and Sailor? Don't ask me about airships or sailors or anything travel related, please. I'm sick of it. Okay. Well, she is a traveling merchant. Uh, should I talk to her? Eastly. It's Eastly. Welcome to the Jaguar Lounge. What can I get you? We get a few of those every time in airship docks. Any other info? Name's Camel. He's pretty sexy. Sounds like my kind of man. Sorry, name doesn't ring a bell. Why don't you ask Jimena, that charming elderly lady? She's a denizen too. Perhaps she knows him. Uh, what was this that? one? Oh. oh, my Captain George. <laughs> yes, remember how I used to babysit you and I know when to brickle the mar to buy groceries? Huh? Camel, of course, I used to babysit him too. I haven't seen him in ages. He's a sailor now, you say? So I guess that's a no. Sorry. Well, that was us us useless. Asking the locals how clever you were always a smart boy. Are you going to die? Let's this guy. Yella, yella good. You heard him. Kindly leave us alone. This is supposed to be a romantic dinner, if you'll excuse us. I'm hoping we'll get laid later. Mm -hmm. The navigator of the narwhal? You know him. Of course I do. I'm a senior air controller at the Quetzal Terminal. I know most of the airship crews in the archipelago. Kamal is a skillful navigator, if a bit too self-confident sometimes. There was that time it was very nearly grazed the narwhal canopy with that mooring beca mast because he was on some sort of dare to fly with just one hand. Darling. 
Oh, <clears throat> yes, sorry. No work talk. Romantic dinner. Got it. <coughs> I have no idea that Norwal was plying the Kisawa Denise route these days. I haven't seen that crew in ages. Hey, I'm so sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I've heard you asking everyone here. You seem to be so eager to find him. I'm afraid there's nothing I, I can help with. Look, it's too bad, but we're on a date, you know, and... Oh, come on. Don't be like that. He's having a hard time. <laughs> Fine. Here, <It's> you <laughs> want to finish this drink? <clears throat> you look exhausted. It will do you some good. Ooh, you got an energy drink. Rinse the sleep status <laughs> condition. Nice. Energy uh, drink. And we got the dog squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> I know Yay. the mics are gonna pick up the squeaking. Oh, they're definitely Get gonna pick that up. Get some rest now, okay? What's that squeaking? Oh my god! Oh, hold on, I gotta take this toy away from the dog. One moment, please. We're back. Um, that's our, our dog's favorite thing to do is interrupt our let's plays, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's like his it. number one thing on his list to do. Uh, okay, so let's. We got an energy drink, which is cool. Let's talk to this guy, Buzzcut guy. Whoa. It's like kid and play. <laughs> <laughs> which was kid, right? oh, which was play, right? Ninety-nine Tim Essence file standing on the wall. Ninety-nine Tim Essence file. Take one down, pass it around. Ninety-eight Tim Essence files. Oh, no! Wow. <laughs> hey, have you seen a Dennis and Taylor? Fellas, I know no fellas. I, I know a good song. Ninety-seven Tim Essence files. Uh, yeah, very cool song, man. 96 to Mrs. Miles. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really important. 95 to Mrs. Miles. <laughs> Standing on four. <laughs> Mrs. Miles. Your fiddle finger. Staying zinger. My fatty. No living up. You no more fun. Oh, I got a new, uh, I, we got Awful Song. Awful Technique course song. for Awful Song. This too many drinking song does considerable damage, especially to reputation, inflicting isolation <laughs> for three turns. I mean, for real. I guess it's an, uh, if an eat. Um, uh, this was a complete waste of time. Yeah. Okay, this looks like a diamond. What would Carlos do? I guess go somewhere else and find a new lead. Wow. Um, okay. Did we talk to chefs? I guess nothing. Oh boy. There's Mankey. Isn't Mankey the name of a Pokemon? <laughs> there he is. That's Captain George, the one you've been looking for. He's after my friend. Oh no. Please arrest him. Uh, I'm just looking for my friend. Oh, you mean that Captain George? Oh, that's the Quetzal Guard. Oh, you want me to. Oh, you mean that. Captain George, I think you're mistaken, Mankey. He is blameless. Yarini herself has had that conversation with our captain. But he's been asking a lot of suspicious questions about my camel. And he says there's these creepy little solo people who sabotage his airship. And I'm a friend of camel too. Oh, is that true? He's all right, Mankey. The dojo master knows people better than anyone. I'm so sorry about this. I was worried about him. I feared for his safety. Captain George, please forgive me. Do come see me at the house. I'm down south by the Smith Guild. We have much to talk about. Stay safe, Captain George, and sorry for the hassle. I guess everyone is a bit on edge these days. Good luck with your search. Okie dokie. Uh, Alright, so let's go talk Oof, to him. That was close. Almost got arrested again. again. Like deja vu, which we were talking about in our last episode. Right. Oh, you never said what you would do if you won the lottery. Here's what I would do if I, I won the lottery. I would you buy Elitch Gardens and turn it into an actual good amusement park. <laughs> okay. Waste. What? I'm going to build Elitch Gardens and make it amazing. And they're going to be like, this is awesome. Oh, there he is. Camel. Oh. Uh, how are the others? Um, the whole crew is alive, just wounded. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great to hear. Well, I gotta do a different voice. Phew, that's great to hear. I don't know what I would do without the gruff old idea, Terry. 
Uh, how did you end up here? So when we crashed, I was holding tight to one of the ropes. Problem is that particular rope snapped before we hit the ground, so it basically slingshot me overboard. <laughs> Before I knew what was going on, I was just flying. It was a like slow motion, but I was going so fast that I thought I would overshoot Tuma completely and fall over the western edge. That was the case. I landed on some question bushes, no enteroties that, that broke my fall, but I still bruised my leg. A couple of kids found me an hour or so later trying to call. They brought me here. Of all people, I re-met my old flame, Minky. Old flame? Well, old, old flame. Ex, Ex-boyfriend. It was always an on and off thing. Guess it's on again. Mm -hmm. uh, time to make new plans. Yes, uh, nobody was expecting the Bill Soda to shoot us down. Nobody has heard of air piracy of that caliber for decades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we'll bounce back. Menke is fixing my leg. You know, you fix the narwhal, then we find a way to get back by then. Um, any way to kiss one? Hmm, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I'll take you. It'll take me a while to recover. Arr, the narwhal can't fly without a navigator. <laughs> And I'm guessing it's always not airworthy right now. Mm -hmm. I recall he has a merchant business there, something about detective. Yeah, I don't know if I on all narwhal this time, buddy. Sorry. I have no idea. Well, perhaps he could. Oh, I don't know. It's risky, but whatever. You could try. Ask Menke. Okay. Are you done? He needs some rest. I talk exactly like him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to reach Kisawa. Yes, and there's no airships. I've heard that. <laughs> well, there is a way, although I wouldn't recommend it to a rookie rock hopper or one who's never tried it, but you sound pretty desperate, so I guess I'm going to give you my some free rock hopping lessons. Meet me on the surface south of the entrance to Quetzal. There's a mini temporium nearby. I'll teach you some tricks. Rock hopping. Oh, and before I go, gee, I'm really sorry about calling the guards on you. I was worried about him anyway. Please accept this as an apology. You'll find it useful in Romney's parts. Oh, you got a rock shield. What's that? Uh, damage from crystal types techniques is reduced by 20%. Oh, well, that's good. That'll help against uh, Nowlin because we have to fight crystal types. His Velasha Raptor. So I got to decide which one to give it to. Mm -hmm. As soon as you're done in here in Quetzal, I'll meet you at the Mini Temporium. Whew, I'm glad the camel's alive. Do you ever have people that talk like that, like stretch out every vowel? Like, okay. Okay. I'll see you later. Oh, sarcasm, yeah. Uh, okay, we need to go back upstairs. Uh, okay, well, at least we're getting other stuff to do because now and that was like a dead end. We just kept dying. Yeah, two times is enough for me. That's it. <laughs> two times. Third time, we would have killed him the third time for sure. Really? Yeah, we would take him out. For sure, guys. Yeah, I don't know. About I would that. do it to prove it, but it's not necessary. <laughs> um, okay, so let's do some rock hopping. Uh, is he supposed to be here? I thought he said he would be here. Uh, let me look at the map. Maybe Where are you else. at? Um, is this is the mini emporium? Uh, is it on the map somewhere? Uh, okay, I guess I went to the wrong place, maybe. Oh, it's not here. It's it's back downstairs, I, I think. Now I'm stretching out every word. So I'm going to talk like this the entire time. Uh, I think it's down here. Nope, nope, maybe. Um, okay, pause for one second. Good, everyone, we're back. Um, okay, so we pretty much just have to fight down one. We, 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 we put it, it off as we, long as we can. We, that's all. We can't do, skip around and play hooky. No, we gotta just keep trying. We gotta be like Sisyphus pushing that boulder of a hill. Just keep doing it and keep can't dying. We just keep push doing... him off a cliff. Yeah, just smack now and be like, <laughs> I don't want to fight you. Uh, so we looked at his types. We think we have a good matchup. Let's see how this goes. So it looks like at, at first we have Orphil, not Orphil, uh, Nidrasil, who is a nature and toxic type. So since he's nature, JD's Volcrane here should do some damage. Hopefully. Um, and then I put my Skunch up front. So hopefully I can take out Velash quickly because he was the one causing us all the problems. 
with some melee moves. Seems like they all were causing us. Uh, <laughs> do I have a melee? All my melee moves take some a turn to do, which I'm not a huge fan of that. But mm -hmm. there's not really much I can do. We're just gonna have to deal with that. Um, right, let's just hope for the best. I bought some revives and some bomb pluses, so let's hope that helps us again. Um, okay, let's just. Mm. And he was starting to sound cool with his existentialism stuff. Yeah, he was like... Now he's oh. just a pain in the ass. Yeah, why don't you take off that mask, man? Let's see what you really look like. Yeah. Um... I wanna know what you look like. Show me what you got. So, um, I need to go after Valash? No, the other one, Nidrasil. I can take out Valash. You take out Nidrasil with your fire moves! Fire! Okay. Boom, that didn't even hurt. That didn't do that much, okay. Yeah, that didn't even hurt. That kind of hurt a little bit. <laughs> Fire! Oh, you burned him. Um, Ooh, okay. okay, Valash. I am torn. I think I need to bomb plus first before I take out Valash, unfortunately. But you got your fire? Yep, I'm trying. And they can give me a chance. Yeah, your crystal moves are gonna, or his crystal moves are gonna be weak against you. That's why he keeps attacking me. Um, okay, super scale. Get him another bomb. He's burning up. Um, okay. Bomb. Do I have a bomb plus plus? <clears throat> um, <laughs> well, I, I do not. Up. Full restore. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to do that because you guys keep picking on me. Why is everybody always picking on me? <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that like a song, right? It is a song. Oh, okay. It's from, like, I think the song was called Charlie Brown, and it was supposed to be a Charlie Brown impersonation. And he's like, Why is everybody always picking on me? Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. <laughs> Um, oh. Alright, let's take Tell him out. Jam is almost dead. Boom, he's dead. Wow, Balash, okay. You... See, you okay, gotta have those, 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 those tight matchups. Um, you you got... just had to do some studying, I guess. Yep, okay. I need to heal my super scunch again. Um, Alright, so now I can back bow out and, and uh, put in my... Bonnaroo, right? You said. Well. What's wrong? Uh. You... Actually, leave your Volcrane. Try to finish. Try to leave your Volcrane in, because the problem is your Bonnaroo is going to be weak to Sparzy. We need to take out Sparzy first, and then your Bonnaroo can take out. Um... So yeah, maybe do some fire moves on Sparzy. Let's let's finish him off. Kill fire him. moves. Oh. Or whatever yeah. moves on Sparzy. I don't know what's weak against. Yeah, like, I'm not. Sure. Win. I don't know what. Look at that quarter damage, man. That ain't no thing. Well, okay. Um. Uh. I believe my crystal move should be nice and strong against um, if I can get a crystal move off in time. Uh, should be strong against um. All train taking too much energy here from so. Yeah. Barzy and his ugly ass grin. But yeah, I think fire moves should be fine against Farzy. They won't be weak or anything. Um, it's probably just gonna kill me here. Oh no, quarter damage. Oh, look at that, look at that. That that Rykan fire moves keep keep doing me. It's in. tough. Yeah, I can't really get a hit in yet until um Take care You're of that. Faster. If you have a ground move, you could use it on Rykan, that would do double damage. You have any oh, ground yeah. moves? Uh, the oh brown my ones. Um, uh, I got a double kick. Oh, Jesus. double kick. No. Well, so much for bugs. Oh my god. Uh, did you burn him? Yeah, get that um, burn. I mean, not a whole lot. Oh. I just killed myself. Oh, but you got him burned. Uh, okay. I guess I'll put my... I, I just realized we had two platy pets in there. But I'm gonna use mine to take out, hopefully take out Rykan. Um, Jeez. Hopefully, hopefully I have enough speed to go first. 
Uh, right, can overdo it. Oh my god, that's gonna kill Snail Trails, probably. Oh no, he's still alive! Oh my god. He's still alive! He's alive! Uh, oh no, no not wind. You should have done anything but wind, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Nature would have been good. Gosh. Um, well, we had started off really well there. Uh, well, he, these are the last two he's got left, so. Um. Uh. If I can hit Sparzy quick enough, I can take him out before he kills me. Let's see. Yeah, die, Sparzy! Die! Yes! <laughs> you take that! You shall I die! I was like holding my breath. I know, me too. I'm like, like, oh my uh, god, if we die a third time. Now we have is the tight. Work? Yeah, we have the tight matchup now, so we should win now. Okay. Um, Give him all we got on his ass. Yeah, it's too bad my bun bun is at a lower level because he would have been good for this battle, but he, yeah. just, he just takes too much damage fighting a level 46. Um, uh, trying to drown him here. Yeah, almost. He's almost dead. He's he's, he's a strong pretty one. Pretty tough. Yeah, yeah, he's level forty six. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, he's also getting like a power up every time he kills us, which is not helping our situation. Right. Um. Well, he's he's close to dying. He's got an umbrella too, which um I guess is from Rihanna or something. I don't know. Shoot. But oh. he's dead. There Every you time go. you hit him with a water move, it said Raikant's umbrella and he took less damage, which is BS. Oh. But we killed him. Take oh that now in. Third time technique. is the charm. Oh my god. Suck it. Suck my scunch's big fat dick. <laughs> wow. Is it, this Somebody episode is rated said... R. Rated R for Somebody's the pirate talk. Somebody's talking about some <clears throat> big penis. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. There we go. You ready to go? You don't disappoint, Captain George. Well, it only took three tries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, it's really because my scunch is level 45. Um, oh, what advice I do from you? You have always met others. Good, loyal friends who shall stand by you when the darkest hour comes. Do well by them. Some way to the east. Evil men guard an icon taken from thy former brother-in-law. Brother-in-arms. Brother-in-law, jeez. <laughs> uh, it is an old trinket, valueless, yet priceless to an old man whose heart aches for the departed. Obtain it and return it to the heartbroken man. Earn your friend's freedom. You shall need all your friend's help sooner than you think. And now I bid you farewell. We shall meet on an is another island to fight one crucial day. You, me, and the other three. What other three? I have no idea what he's talking about. But we did it. Oh my god. Let's go back. Let's go back to the to the, the temp thing and heal ourselves. Yeah, we need some TLC. Oh my god. Oh no, oh, battle. No. I think everyone is dead in my party. Oh, platy pat. Uh platy pat on platy pat action. Um, right. Oh, never mind. Well that was an easy kill. That was well, easy. Well I'm level 45 now. I'm like, I'm Easy like, peasy. yeah, I'm like super strong now. Oh my god, no one's gonna fuck with me. <laughs> Tough. Um, all right, yeah. So we need to go down this, this way. way. It's like a maze this, here. Tis the way over here. Uh, and heal up. Oops, I'm stuck on there. That was funny. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to doing what I was trying to do before, which is level up my Hydati. Um, so you go back in and, I don't know, Pat, you can come out. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good. Um, and while we wait for JD to buy some stuff, she's doing her favorite thing, shopping. Um, shopping! Shopping! Where do we need to go? I think it's on the map here. We need to go, he said to the east somewhere. Where are we going? Oh, over here, you see, right there. So we need to go along the water all the way around. Um, so let's do that. Look, we got Jay Wolf running with us here. Hey, Jay Wolf. Uh, Where are we running? Uh, I, know oh no. I know I'm just making a noise. That's my ASMR. Are you ready for my ASMR? <laughs> 
I always say that's the complete opposite. <laughs> that's not putting you at ease. No. I'm gonna catch this side pad. Oh, okay. I'm catching me. No, I guess I should have axed. I'm catching me a side pad for some reason. Just because he looks cool and has a fork. <laughs> uh, you still calling it a fork, man? He is okay. He's okay. He's okay. Alright. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do this. Oh my god, we still have so much temtemming to do. Are we like halfway through this game? Do you think we're more than halfway? I have no idea. I don't know. It's got a long campaign and it's not even finished yet. Like, this is still er technically early Where'd access. Where'd you go? Oh my we god. We gotta go around this way. Oh, you're going another way. You could go that way too if you want. It don't really matter. It don't matter? Yeah. Because we basically just need to go back up around this way and then over here and talk to this guy here. Or well, I guess it's a battle. Oh. Oh, he Renegade looks cranky. Guard. Mm, what do we have here? Another puppet sent by old Captain Coley? You can turn back and tell him you failed like the others, or you can join us like I did and have a new life here away from the mind worms. <coughs> mind worms? He needs that idol. No, he needs to accept things the way they are. They, that, that he had lost, that he lost and come back more. He needs to open his eyes and you need to open yours. Oh, great. Another battle. Hopefully this one's easier this than the last one. It's going to be an eye-opening battle. Uh, ooh. ooh. Yeah, who check my scales should get out of there immediately because he's going to get destroyed by these guys. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, scale. Well, not by these guys in particular, but that who check, whatever who check evolves into. I forgot its name. Tento. Tento. Yeah, he would destroy my scale four times his damage. <laughs> Ah, tornado! Oh. Grandpa. I wonder what that last rush thing means. Ah, he's burning. Watch this, watch this, watch and learn. Tentel is gonna die. He's gonna be destroyed. Um, okay. Look at this, look at this, watch, 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 Oh, he didn't die. Wow, die that was a lot of hoopla. <laughs> <laughs> hoopla, I haven't heard that word in a long time. <laughs> Oh, you burned Grandpa. Feel the burn. Oh, you killed him. Good job. I mean, he kind of killed himself. Yeah, that's true. He did. Capire. Oh. Uh, oh, my Hydati is getting some levels. All right, now the Tentel is going to die for sure. Because he just needs one little hit. One little smidgen of crystals smidgen? in his face. And he's going to die. Are you a chef? Wasn't Chef Chef George? What was your favorite like celebrity chef? Was it Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> I have to. I, I don't know. I mean, I did watch it... his show Hell's Kitchen a lot. You know, two who's... years ago. <laughs> he did. Yeah, He's like, did. you are an idiot. How can you do this? <laughs> and you're like, it's why are you coming like into my that. kitchen and yelling at me? All right, let me put it. It's, it was an honor to be like, yelled at by him. <laughs> yeah, like to be in his kitchen. And he's your teacher. That's so true. everybody's like, oh man. But then they always got humiliated and would cry. Really? People would cry? Uh huh. Oh, I could see that. He could be very harsh, man. I, I could see that. Super harsh. Wow, we yeah. took him out. It's like. It must suck to cry on a reality show on TV. It's like everyone sees you crying. Oh, finally I got my okay. Typhoo. Oh my god! Louise! Taifu! Cool. It's like a cape, but it starts at his head. It's interesting, at the top of his head. Right. That is strange. Uh, ha, what, what, what won't mind worms do for a sparky trinket? That is not the voice I did at all. I was like, <laughs> oh, ha, what will mind worms do for a sparkly trinket? Talk it and be gone, pawn of the mind worms! All right, I guess we got the ancient I looking ancient idol. Seems idol. to have significance for Cody. So I guess we gotta bring that back to him. Oh, okay. Uh, so where he at? Where he at? Oh my god, I'm excited for this Tuesday because I get to start level two of my improv classes. 
Oh my god. Oh, someone's being a comedian. I oh. know. I'm doing 201 improv. Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone's so much gonna fun. be Guys, a comedian. If you're like bored and you have improv classes available in your town, 100% worth it in my opinion. I mean, I can't attest to all of them. You know, I can't say like, oh, this uh, improv is good. But most of them, I'm assuming, if they're like the one I took, are gonna be good. And you should take it. It's a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. It helps with your uh, Let's Plays, right? I don't know. Probably not. You guys it. tell me. They're gonna be like, oh, this shit isn't working at all. <laughs> <laughs> you're just as bad as you were I like mean, you're 30 still episodes learning. Ago. I'm still learning, guys, man. One day, we're gonna be fucking hilarious. You're gonna be like, dude, I remember when they weren't funny. And you'll be like, I used to watch them before they were funny. <laughs> they were just two idiots talking over games. <laughs> Hopefully at least our conversations are interesting, right? Uh, let's see, what can I say that was interesting? Uh, oh, I learned that I was listening to this podcast called The Happiness Lab, which is a pretty good podcast if you're into like... Being happy? Well, it's like very <laughs> scientific... Um, like podcasts about like not just like oh we'll do this to be happy like you know how like a lot of pipe psychology is like oh we'll wake up and smile and you'll be happy la 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 this is like actual tests that they do and they say like how you can use them in your life to make you happier um, and they they talk about actual research and experiments that um, scientists have done to prove certain facts about like what makes people happy and why you're not happy when doing this anymore and stuff like that it's super interesting uh, and I'm gonna get back to this topic after I talk to Coley because there was something pretty talk interesting I learned. Coley. It feels like it was ages ago when I last gazed upon this ancient treasure. Well done, Captain George. <laughs> Sounds like there would have been a cackle after. Matthew, you are a free man, and now this too, you have an excellent friend, <laughs> in Captain George. You woke up the audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You didn't wake uh, up the dog, though. He's snoring. Oh, yeah. he's sleeping. He's having dreams about chasing squirrels. Maybe. I... What I already knew. Thank you, Captain George. I knew you were a stand-up guy. I'm going back to the now while Captain George. The captain can use my help. Keep up the good work. Yay. I shall miss that fellow, I tell you. What a riveting conversationalist. Uh, okay. We found a camel and freed one eye Matthew for prison. Looks like I'm done here. But I still need to find a way to reach Casilla. Carlos must be waiting for me there. Perhaps I can find another airship. So I should check at the airship terminal. At the tourist guide? Oh, yeah. We could talk to them. The office of tourism? Oh, yeah. So, um, talking about the happiness lab. So, they were talking, the, li the, the episode I was listening to, they were talking about pets, in particular dogs, and how they affect your happiness. Um, and they did say that people with dogs were happier, uh, but it wasn't just like a net thing where like everyone who has a dog is happier. Um, that is not the case. It was very specific like ways people behave with their dogs that makes them happier. And in particular, it was talking about people who walk their dogs every day. So like I know some people have a yard and they just let them out, but if you actually take the trouble to walk them, uh, apparently walking with your dog is a very, um, like, I guess, mindfulness exercise. That's good for your health. Captain Magda. Magda. Hello again, Captain George. That's quite impossible right now, Captain George. I like to say your name a bunch of times. Something <laughs> awful is going on in Kisoa. Some sort of massive attack by unknown airborne feces. Oh, forces. <laughs> <laughs> airborne feces! Whatever it is, I'm not risking any lives. Sorry, until that incident is over, I'm sticking to the Denise Omnisia route. Well, I guess you could try the old rock-hopping route at Kupalilaz... Okay. Yeah, why not? If you're so down below bent on getting to Kisewa, people in this land practice an old sport called rock hopping like the name suggests it's basically leaping from one floating rock to the other using only a hook wow that sounds dangerous <laughs> that's it, exactly what she says it sounds awfully dangerous if you ask me and i fly for a living but good luck with it and if you want to travel to civilized places in a civilized manner i'll be here all day oh sweet 
Time okay, so I guess now we can meet Mankey. So I guess we couldn't meet him until we did this stuff first. Uh, um, so we could actually go back to um, some of the places we went to before. So we can do some breeding and stuff like that uh, cool. if we want to. Um, I so guess that's in the cool. next episode. We could do that off screen too. I may release some terms, do some breeding. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, we could do that off screen. Cool. Get, get some better terms with some high as these. I got to go through. I have like pages and pages of terms I've caught. I need to either release them or do something with them. Um, we got DNA strands too that we can use. So we got all kinds of cool stuff. Um, but I am rambling now. So I guess that means it's time to go. Are we going to sing the goodbye song before we leave? Goodbye song? Yeah, it's like, adios, farewell, see you tomorrow. Is that like from the I sound of music? You, goodbye, we'll see you some I'm pretty other sure that's from the sound time. Of music. <laughs> <laughs> no that was a george original Shh. we're gonna get taken down for copyright all right but we're gonna see you guys in the next episode so adios my friends bye you're still here well you might as well subscribe okay you can go now